We got a crazy new gold farm. First and foremost, if you are a guardian, you're going to want to head to the guardian tower. Once here, talk to Zoria, and you're going to be finding a Guardian's Sway or Swarther. I don't know how to say it. Anyways, this quest right here, you are going to need five Guardian class tokens in order to get a free Cursed Ship Summoning Rune. So you can get this completely for free, and this is where the gold farm can begin. Now, keep in mind, however, it really only works with Dragon Crystals, but... You've got a consumable. Let's jump over to Battleon so I can just drop this down. Now, essentially, I would save these up for some kind of big f gold farming event. But, I mean, honestly, you could just drop this anywhere. The thing is, the more people to kill, the better it is, to be honest. But after spawning your big giant thing, look at the size of that, though. That is so freaking huge. I absolutely love it. Actually, let me get a screenshot of that while I can. There we go. Ooh, actually, let me go into photo mode. Please, nobody attack it. Dang it, somebody jumped to me. Don't you dare friggin' attack it. Okay, there we go. Actually, I could just tweak it a little bit like that. Ah, there we go. Now, the reason why this is a gold farm is because this thing has a chance of dropping crispy doubloons. Each one of these sell for five thousand gold now this is not a very common drop mind you this is something that after killing this multiple times you might not get any but you also might get a multiple amount in one kill so it can definitely vary and the fact that these sell for five thousand a piece is wow now, the major thing I wanted to address, of course, was the fact that Guardians are getting these items for completely free, which is actually really cool. But the fact that they also drop something that can give you a large amount of gold could make this rather profitable, especially for people that are trying to host some kind of community event. And if everybody goes, well, I've already got all the things that I need from this ship, there's still a reason to farm it because you're going to be getting a large amount of gold so definitely if you have an opportunity to farm these things and you are looking for a nice gold profit this is definitely a good way to go just from this one alone i got 10 right there so let's let's add this up and see exactly what we got when it came to profit here so we're going to go to uh, we'll just go to this guy right here i have 17 crispy doubloons now in total i had seven from one drop and then 10 from another and i believe i've killed somewhere in the ballpark of five of those big giant ships so this is how much you're going to be getting from this eighty-five thousand that you're going to be getting and this was only from two kills now obviously it's probably more generous than it would be in some cases you might get lower than this but the fact that you're able to get this amount that's really crazy so if you guys are know of people that have these things or if you are a guardian you're able to get them for free kind of stack them up so you guys can maybe get together and do a big community event hopefully being able to spawn a lot so that everybody will be able to get some you know a lot of gold from this sort of thing and the more people spawn in the more gold you're gonna make so cha-ching as promised, I told you guys I would keep you up to date with the whole Unity thing and what's going on. So here's what Artix wrote in regards to the Unity stuff. He said, your friendly neighborhood game devs here at Artix Entertainment are shocked and feel betrayed by Unity's pricing announcements. As we make free-to-play games, which stand to be hurt the most by this change, our voice joins that of other studios in asking unity to revert their decision charging per install on free cross-platform games like ours which encourages players to log in for multiple devices defeats the very reason we dedicated the last 10 years using unity to our players know we are 100 percent committed to continuing to create expand and continue continue weekly updates of our games for you no matter what it takes and this is the essence of what they are trying to get across is and this is what i did mention in my previous video in regards to the unity changes was the fact that they will do what they can to continue 
you know, making their games. Now, it's possible they are going to go with another platform. There are other engines out there that they can change to, but it is going to suck out loud if they have to do that because that is going to mean delays on AQ World Infinity. That would mean a hiatus on AQ3D because they would need to reconvert all the assets over to a new engine and so it would be a freaking nightmare can it happen yes is it going to take time absolutely but i mean this it could be bad but right now i say there's no there's no reason to worry about this right now because we don't know what the future is going to present. So until we have a clear understanding of what Unity is really going to try to do, we just have to sit and be patient, continue to play the games that we love and support the companies that we love. That's, that is where we're at currently. So we'll just have to wait it out. But hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.